<laughs> All right, so I just got off the street, Bob. Now it's time for the live wire. And this is gonna be the last bike of the day. Oh, it's weird, there's no clutch. He's 69%. See, this feels more normal. On the street bob here, having your hands up there, trying to hit the switches is different. All right, so the last guy that rode it, he said he put it in sport mode. Definitely gonna be keeping that in sport mode. Oh, it's so weird, you can't even tell that it's on. Like, is it alive? Like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, that's weird. You can't feel it revving, you just feel like, pulling you a little bit uh, but it feels nice and sporty though nice bit of weight that battery is definitely heavy as hell oh the engine braking on it's crazy as soon as you let off the throttle she starts slowing down super hard oh you don't even need to touch the brakes at all this reminds me of the mt07 <laughs> holy shit <laughs> holy crap does that ever pull <laughs> Holy shit. It definitely is a weird kind of pull though. You don't get that low rumbling like Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay. We're going to be filming all things to do with motorcycling. So of course, I'm riding the all-new Harley-Davidson Livewire. I came into this demo day only wanting to ride the Harley Pan Am. And after they told us that they weren't going to be bringing out the bike because it needed to be charged, go figure. Electric bike takes all day to be charged. I wasn't expecting to ride this, but I was able to secure a spot and jump up on it. <laughs> Oh, I love it. You get that little, like, Jetson sound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. This is fun. So, like I said, on my last two demo rides, huge thank you to Alex Palumbo of GTA Motorcycle Riders for giving me the heads up to this. And huge thank you to Mississauga Harley for putting on the demo day. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and be sure to check out some of my other content. Previously, I rode the Pan America and the Street Bob leading up to the live wire. With a whopping price tag of $37,000 Canadian, this bike is not gonna be made for everybody. And with it being electric, I know a lot of people are, are very hesitant when it comes to it because it is super quiet and is more of a sports bike than it is a typical cruiser that Harley makes. Now on the flip side of that, it is a super fun bike and I would highly recommend anybody take it for a test ride before you make up any opinions on it. It is super quick, super fun, super torquey, pretty nimble and perfect for what it's intended for and that is to be riding it to and from work and just booting around the city this bike only has a 230 kilometer city range now i don't know what the what the highway range and they also have a multiple different riding modes you can also put in conserve the battery you can put it in rain mode uh, sport mode and there was one more that I can't think of off the top of my head, and I believe you can do some customizable modes as well. For charging it, you can use a regular wall socket, and it would take overnight to totally charge it 100%. You can also get the fast charging or, or locate one of the fast charging stations. I don't know if they are compatible with Tesla. They might be, or you might have to strictly use Harley Davidson. You gotta give yourself some space and let it rip. Oh, I know, I was enjoying it, yeah. It pulls so hard. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy crap, that was wicked! <laughs> Yo, that's wicked fast! Holy shit! <laughs> this is fun though, I can't lie, this is pretty sick. You know, I was not expect. I was not sure what to expect to when I was getting like to get on it. But you know, I've everybody has, who have ridden one has all said the same thing that it's just stupid fucking quick, <laughs> and you can really feel that when 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 you twist the throttle, man. Holy crap! So it's in sport mode. I know the other modes aren't quite as uh, snappy. She'll give you the beans all, all at once. Let's try this shit again. 
<laughs> Holy fuck, that's like a bullet! <laughs> Whee! Give me all the beans, boy! Would I go electric? I don't know. They would definitely have to increase the range, the the charging times, they'd have to bring the price down big time. But they've all electric vehicles. Because I've heard the same thing about the Teslas, that they are like zero to 60 in like three seconds so i'm pretty sure they got the lunatic mode or something you know the brakes feel nice and grabby they have a nice little bite to them it's definitely a good uh, would make for a good commuter bike the engine braking on this you don't even have to hardly touch the brakes look at that no no brakes whatsoever there so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and go check out my first time ever on harley cruiser until next time ride safe